Hello. So it's been a minute since I've done a try on all. I got some new shirts. So I thought I would just try a couple things on for you. We could just have a little whispered, soft spoken ramble. That is alright with you. And then maybe you know, some heel sounds as well. I just got my nails done. Um, so this is the first shirt. It's by Skims. I do like the way their clothes fit. So I got it in three different colors. Let me go grab the other two colors. So I got it in gray. And I just like, yeah, I'm not really into patterns for the most part. I like a very nice, simple sort of like silhouette. And then I also got it in black. And I wanted to try it on with two different necklaces and see if you think that it goes well with either of these necklaces just to add like a little pop, a little extra detail. Set this one down. So I got these two necklaces. Um, this one is like just a little and a silver sort of like rope chain. So this room's just wearing something like that can make, make the outfit a lot more interesting. So there's this one and then this other one. was at the Huntington Library, which is over in Pasadena. It's one of my favorite places to go. And besides the fact that the garden there is absolutely impeccable, it also has this really extraordinary gift shop where I got this necklace, which I thought was very unique looking. So this is sort of like more Subtle. I don't know. It was cute. When I was at the Huntington Library, I saw Jason Siegel there. I'm not sure if you know who he is. He was in I Love You Man and Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's always kind of interesting when you see a celebrity because there's like this brief moment in your head where you feel like you are seeing someone that you recognize and it takes your brain like one second to realize no, like you don't know them. You just recognize their face from TV or movies. I'm going to try on the next shirt. So this is the next shirt. I'm not going to try on the other um, Skims tank tops because they're basically all the same. But this is something different. I love uh, On. I have not tried this on yet, so I'm curious to see how it fits. I like that sort of like popping sound. It's a little shorter waisted than I was uh, anticipating. I'm pretty tall. I'm 
lots of times when I order things online, which is really the only way that I that I shop, you know, when I see something on the model, it looks like, you know, it's like a normal, a normal shirt, and then I buy it, and it looks like it's for, you know, like a toddler. So I forget to take that into consideration. But I also don't return things. So here we are. I don't hate it. I have some pants that are actually higher waisted than this. Um, a skirt that's higher waisted, so it's not a total catastrophe. You know, it might look cute with a cowboy hat. Speaking of cowboy hats, I just watched a really good western. Called Godless. I don't know if you've seen that. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that. I believe it was on Netflix. This is a new straw hat that I just got. I was walking uh, around in Palm Desert and I saw this in the window of a shop there. And I knew. Yeah, I love, um, I love the cowboy hat. I just feel like it makes every outfit, like, more fun. But yeah, I definitely recommend Godless. It, um, it's actually based on a true story. So it takes place back, like, during the, the gold rush. And there was a mine that ended up collapsing and it killed every single man in the town on the same day. So all the men, let's say there's like, you know, close to a hundred men that live in this town. They all went down to the mine to work that day and the mine collapsed. And so the only people left in the men in the town were the women and then maybe like like a handful of older men um, that you know were too old to work in the mine but essentially it's just a town completely made up of, of women and this actually did happen forget the name of the town but it has Jeff Daniels who's a really interesting villain. Uh, he's like not a one-dimensional character. There's like many different sides to him. And then it has um, Michelle Dockery, who you might have seen in Downton Abbey. She played Lady Mary. I'm not sure if you ever watched Downton Abbey, but it was a you know, period piece show. But she was really good in this as well. And you have to give it, I mean, the first episode is good, but it's like one of those shows that just keeps getting better and better and better every episode. I really enjoyed it. I was sad. I was sad when it ended. So that's my recommendation. I know people like when I sometimes suggest shows to watch. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. I love that time period. It's definitely one of the periods of time I would want to visit in a uh, time machine. Wouldn't want to live during that time. Because uh, mommy likes running water and electricity, but um, that would be very exciting to, to visit. It was just such a dangerous and romantic seeming time period. The wild frontier. So this last shirt is something that's like definitely out of like my normal comfort zone. Um, but I kind of like, I don't know, I had this sense that it would look good on. 
but yeah, I don't normally ever buy things that have, have a pattern and I'm not usually actually drawn to bright colors either. I usually always wear earth tones, neutral, so like everything about this is very outside my comfort zone, but let's see how, let's see how this looks on. This is one of these shirts I feel like that, you know, it didn't look that great on the hanger, but I could just tell it was gonna like fit well. I like the sleeves. It just feels kind of like, again, like a little bit of a western country vibe to it. To fix the collar. But I like the flowers. Jeans make very good sounds for, for ASMR. These are just Levi's. For this part of the video, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. I'm just going to do a little up close, soft spoken reciting of two different song lyrics. So, one, the first song lyric I'm going to read is from Leonard Cohen. He's one of the all time best lyricists, in my opinion. Is Songs are like poetry. They're so beautiful. And this song, everybody knows. I feel like it sort of describes the way the world is right now. I'm not going to read the entire song, just parts of it. And then the second song I'm going to read is how I wish the world Close your eyes, relax, try to visualize like the words from the song. So this is the Leonard Cohen one. It says, everybody knows the dice are loaded. Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed. Everybody knows the war is over. Everybody knows the good guys lost. Everybody knows the fight was fixed. The poor stay poor. The rich get rich. That's how it goes. And everybody knows. Everybody knows the boat is leaking. Everybody knows the captain lies. Everybody's got this broken feeling like their father or their dog just died. Everybody's talking to their pockets. Everybody wants a box of chocolates and a long stem rose. And everybody knows. Everybody knows the plague is coming. Everybody knows it's moving fast. Everybody knows the naked man and woman are just a shining artifact of the past. Everybody knows 
knows the scene is dead, but there's gonna be a meter on your bed that will disclose what everybody knows. So there's two more stanzas for that song, but um, I just feel like it's kind of, you know, apropos for what's going on in the world right now. And then in complete and utter juxtaposition of that song, there's this song at the very beginning of Alice in Wonderland when she's up in a tree and I guess it's her governess that's reading to her. And you know, she's in this field of flowers surrounded by daisies and there's this brook that's going by. She's with her cat, and it's just this really you know, idyllic looking setting. And she starts singing this song about, you know, if she lived in a world of her own, like what her, her world would be like. How it would be so different from reality. And I've always felt that way. I always wished that I lived in a world that had more magic in it. So this is like a song. It's, yeah, it's a silly song. It's from Alice in Wonderland, but it's, it's the world that I wish that, you know, that we existed in. A world that just had more whimsy and magic in it and less sadness and suffering. So, this is Cats and Rabbits would reside in fancy little houses and be dressed in shoes and hats and trousers in a world of my own. All the flowers would have very extra special powers. They would sit and talk to me for hours when I'm lonely in a world of my own. There'd be new birds, lots of nice and friendly how-to-do birds. Everyone would have a dozen bluebirds in a world of my own. Within that world of my own, I could listen to a babbling brook a song that only I could understand. I keep wishing it could be that way because then my world would be a wonderland.